Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I have my August favorites of the month. I know every favorites video, everyone starts it off saying like, I can't believe the month went by so fast. But really, I can't believe August went by so fast. I can't believe 2019 is almost over. I can't believe that summer is almost over. I want to hear from you guys. Does it feel like fall where you live? Because here in Michigan, it's really starting to feel like fall. Don't get me wrong, there are a few days that are still pretty warm, but especially in the mornings, it's getting a little chilly. I'm starting to wear at least some lightweight sweaters. And my boyfriend and I were just talking about going to the cider mill. So that's how you know that fall is among us. But in today's video, I wanna share my favorites from the month of August. I have a ton of cool things to talk about. A ton of cool things to talk about. <laughs> Why does that sound so funny? But in today's video, I'm gonna share my favorite products from August. Before we jump in, if you like this makeup look, I'm gonna leave the video for it linked down below. It was my last full face of nothing new. But let's go ahead now and hop into the favorites. Let me start off with a favorite that I meant to include in last month's favorite, but somehow I forgot to mention it and I still wanted to give it a shout out. This is the Makeup Molly Doll 10 brush set. So Makeup Molly is one of my friends here on YouTube and she's actually also from Michigan, which I think is really cool. And she collaborated with the brand Doll 10 to come out with an eight piece brush set. So the, this is what they look like. You guys, mine are a little bit embarrassing because they're very dirty because I use these all the time, you guys. The quality is so fantastic. You get all of these for $39, which I think is a pretty good deal. And like I said, mine are dirty. I have washed these a few times, but they need another wash. But this is what the set looks like. You have a nice range of especially a lot of crease brushes. So if you are like me and you feel like you need a ton of different crease brushes to complete a look. This is a set that I would recommend because they come in all different shapes. You have some that are a bit fluffier, some that come to more of a tapered point so you can get that precision. You do also have one of my favorite types of brushes. I feel like everyone needs a brush like this. Molly named this one the Line Definer, but it's kind of just like a flat brush and I use this to add like a liner to my upper lash line basically with shadow or to smoke out colors on the lower lash line. And I feel like she really just nailed it with this set. And you also get a bag. And I had to empty out this bag before this video because I have been storing all of my eye brushes in this bag, not just the ones from this set. So it's a really nice bag. And it, it's the perfect size to put eye brushes in because some bags, if they're not like made for that, they're too small and they'll kind of smush your brushes. But this is a great size. I've been loving it. I wanted to give Molly a shout out because she's just such a kind person and she really nailed it with this set. So it's something I definitely recommend. And I've been loving not only in August, but for the past few months. I just forgot to mention it last month. Now I want to talk about a surprise favorite. I, I was intrigued by this, but based on the claims, I didn't think it was going to fit my preferences and I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do. And this is the new foundation from Koki Cosmetics. So this is their full cover foundation. They do also make the HD foundation. Now I know there was a bit of confusion. Is this like replacing it? Is it repackaged? What is it? This is a separate formula and it is available at Rite Aid for a limited time, but after that, it's just going to be available on their website. So. First of all, let me just say how amazing this packaging is. I'm gonna hold it up to the foundation I'm wearing today, which is the Too Faced Born This Way. I have it in front of me because like I said, I just filmed this look. But the Koki one could be high-end. I just wanna compare them because they both have that beautiful frosted glass bottle and then you kind of have this, whoa, whoa, whoops. I was gonna say rose gold. This isn't rose gold, just gold, but it's not a very yellowy gold. It's like a, more of a white gold, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying here, but the packaging is fantastic. Moving on to the actual performance of the product, it is a very full coverage product, and I don't typically prefer that, but for some reason, this one just sits so beautifully on the skin. Now, it can be a little bit heavy, the same way any full coverage product can, so I try to apply a smaller amount of it, but I find that the finish is just so perfecting on the skin especially in photography. I love the way that this looks on camera. I love the way that this looks in photos. So if you're going for more of that full glam makeup, but you want a drugstore option, this retails for $13. I do have an affiliate code, so you can get 25% off of that, so make it even less. But 
I can't believe how much I've been loving this foundation. I will leave the video where I reviewed it, link down below if you wanna see that and hear some additional thoughts, but I've been so impressed with it. Speaking of coverage, this concealer's been getting a lot of buzz. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. In my July Favorites video, I mentioned the Milani Concealer, and I do wanna preface this by saying that I still prefer the Milani over the CoverGirl, but I wanted to mention this because it's also a favorite for me, and I know that the Milani Concealer might not be as accessible to you as CoverGirl, CoverGirl it seems to be in more stores and I believe in more countries also so maybe if you can't get your hands on the Milani I do think this is a great alternative this retails for $10.99 which is a bit pricey but you're getting a lot of bang for your buck because they have 0.33 ounces of product so basically the same amount as Tarte Shape Tape you're just getting a ton of product here and this concealer I don't find has as much coverage as the Milani, but I do still consider it to be a full coverage concealer. You also have that really large doe foot if you like that. Let me show you in case you haven't seen it, but it has that very Tarte Shape Tape inspired massive doe foot. So if you like to cover a lot of area at once with your concealer, this is packaging that you will enjoy. But I find that this hydrates my under eyes while giving them coverage and it doesn't sink into the lines as much as other concealers do. I've told you before that on my under eyes, there's not a concealer in the world that I have found that won't sink into them a little bit. I, if you guys have concealers that you find don't sink into lines at all, let me know, but I feel like if you have lines there, concealer is gonna sink into it. Some, some are better than others and this is better than others, but I feel like it's a lie to say that concealer is not gonna settle in, cause it will. That being said, I find that this looks very natural nevertheless, and I also mentioned in a video that I like this on my days that I'm not setting my under eye concealer. Some concealers really need to be set down to function and to stay in place, but this is one I find you don't need to set, so if you have dry under eyes or you don't like setting, this is a formula I think you would get along with. I didn't even mention, I'm going like, I'm very like white today with my background, but I was kind of feeling not fall, but like transitioning to fall. I've got my white pumpkin. I mentioned this in the video where I filmed my makeup, so you might've heard this already, but I have my white pumpkin that I got at the Dollar Tree for $1. It's actually a really cute pumpkin, you guys. I guess this could be one of my favorites, really. It's like, I don't know what the material is. This is like ASMR for you guys. It's not glass, but it's also not plastic. I don't think it's ceramic either because it's not that heavy, but it's actually really cute, really nice quality. I have it sitting next to our TV on the TV stand. And then I just have these little wildflowers. These are Queen Anne's lace that I picked from outside. So moving on to my next favorite. I don't want to spend too long on both of these palettes because I've been talking about them quite a bit, but it would be a lie not to include these in my favorites. So first, let's start with the Persona Cosmetics Identity 2 palette. I wore this in Monday's video. I wore a very like neutral everyday look. I've actually worn this in a lot of videos. I wore it in my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale video. And I also did a three looks, one palette with this. I have a look on my Instagram with it. Like if you need inspiration for this palette, I've got plenty. But I mentioned in my review video how high quality these shades are. I'm just so blown away, especially by the shimmers. You do not need to wet your brush. And I usually wet my brush anyways, even when shadows say you don't need to or shadows don't really need to. I usually do anyway because I just like to take it to that next level. But with these, when I say that you don't need to wet your brush, just trust me that these are so intense on their own. And if you do want to wet your brush, that's just going to take them to the next level. The mattes also have a lot of pigmentation. They blend out well. They're creamy. So if this color story speaks to you, this kind of like grungy rainbow, I feel like this is a beautiful palette for going out for some more nighttime looks, but you can make it very daytime. But like I said in my review video, a lot of these shimmery shades are a little bit deeper. So I think it would be really flexible for a lot of different skin tones. Even if you have a deeper skin tone, I think a lot of these shades would still sit very beautifully um, on the eyes. So I recommend this. I've really been enjoying it. It recently became available in Ulta stores. So if you were waiting for it to hit Ulta, it's there now. My other favorite has been the Enchanted from Sigma. Again, I've got looks with this. I'm gonna leave them linked down below, but also check out my Instagram. Let me just do a little shameless self promo here. I do a ton of tutorials on Instagram. So if you're not following me on there, I definitely um, think you should check it out. I feel so cringy saying that, like you should check me out on Instagram, but really, if you wanna see tutorials, I do a bunch of them on there. Basically every other post that I make is a tutorial, whether it's an eye post or a face post. 
So I've got a few with this palette on there, but you guys know I've been loving this for my days that I want something more cool toned. I've done some really soft natural looks and I've also done some really intense looks with this. I love these pinky purple shades. They're just so flattering and so beautiful. And I think either of these make nice fall palettes. I'm talking about fall a lot in this video, but if you're getting excited about it like I am, there you go. Also, pumpkin spice lattes, not to be this, this basic, but pumpkin spice lattes, at the time I'm filming this video, they come back tomorrow. It's, this video is probably not going to go up for a few days, but at the time this video is up, they're back. So at, for me, that's when fall starts. Is anyone else like that? I'm like, Starbucks decides the first day of fall, not Mother Nature. So those were all of my makeup favorites. I like to include different media and lifestyle favorites throughout this video or these videos if I have them. And last month I was so excited when I talked about Superstore, which is one of my favorite stores, favorite stores, no, favorite shows. Um, so many of you guys were like, yes, I also watch Superstore and I also love it. And you guys are telling me which character is your favorite. By the way, my favorite character, a lot of you guys were talking about yours, so I wanted to share it. Mine is Cheyenne. I just think she's really funny and adorable. Yeah, but I it cracked me up because I didn't really think that many people watched that show or knew about it. And so many of you guys were like, yeah, that show's hilarious. But also feeding off of that, another one that we got into once we finished that was Schitt's Creek. That is another one of those shows where you have to push through like the first couple episodes because it's not that good at first, but then it gets really great. It's about a family. Again, it's the same style comedy as like... The Office, maybe not The Office, The Office is a little different, but if you like that type of humor, you will probably like this show. And it's about a family that was very wealthy at one time and then actually lost all their money and had to move to a town called Schitt's Creek. And they like live out of a motel there and it's just kind of them adjusting to their new life and it's pretty funny. Again, if you like that style comedy like Superstore, Parks and Rec, you will like this. I mean, it's not an office, like a workplace comedy, but it's the same humor. Also, I meant to mention this last month, but we are loving Big Little Lies and I'm already like season three, let's go, where's it at? So if you haven't seen that and you have HBO, highly recommend it. It's a great like mystery drama type of show. But oh, I wanted to mention something else. Okay, you guys. So I have not read a fiction book in years and so i was like hmm which book should i download and i'm like you know i know a great author let me download samantha march's book and i know that she's been working on her series the six so i downloaded the first book in the series which is christy and you guys i would be done with this book already but i'm like forcing myself not to read it i will read like a bunch of chapters in a row and i want to keep going and i'm like stop it because once it's done it's done so you want to enjoy it you want to savor it and I'm so excited that she's coming out with the next one in the series. After this, the next book is on, is available. And then I think the third one is the one that she's writing right now. Or maybe it's the fourth. But I'm happy that there's six of them because once I finish this, I'm going on to the next one. You know, I don't, I don't want to give too much away in the book. But just know that, I mean, it's a chick lit book. It's kind of like... It's definitely a girly type of book, but there is a lot of depth to it. There, it talks about some really important topics, and I just think it's written so beautifully, and I'm enjoying reading it, and it's it makes me smile reading it just because the way that it's written, some of the things, I mean, I know Samantha's writing as other characters, but you can just, you can see her in it, and you can feel her in it, and I'm like, oh, I can totally see why she wrote this book, and it just makes me happy to read, and I definitely recommend it if you are looking for a fiction book book but thank you guys so much for watching my august favorites of the month these are some products that i have been loving on you guys know favorites videos are my favorite to film so thank you for watching and i will go ahead and see you in my next one bye